we spent the first part of this past year trying to understand how we were going to wage the current wars and fights that we're in. Um, that question is going to come up again. There is nothing in demographics. There is nothing in the competition for resources, whether it be water, climate, whatever it is out there, um, that tells us that, that, that we're not going to be in conflict for as far as we can see out into the future. Everything about this nation, for the most part, is an industrial society. Um, we, we do it better than most and have for a long time. Uh, our vertical uh, approach to, to industry has been very successful, but we're living in the information age. And the leverage is in the information age. And all of the incentive structures in our law in our policies, in the way we do business, in our governance, are set up for industrial constructs. And leverage and competitive advantage is in the information side of this equation. And we're trying to reconcile those and be competitive in the world, whether it's in the military or whether it is in commerce, is a tension that has not been resolved in this country yet, in law, in policy, uh, etc. The nuclear posture review tied very nicely into the quadrennial defense review. In the previous nuclear posture review, we came up with what was called the new triad. It was the, instead of going bombers, submarines, and, and uh, ICBMs, we said offense, defense, infrastructure, command and control, things like that. It was the acknowledgement that an offense-only strategy would no longer work in a world that had a range of military operations against which the destructive and lethal power was evenly distributed. Mm -hmm.